nice to be able to have this concert back in the auditorium again this year instead of out on the courtyard like we did last year. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you. Love seeing a lot of our faculty here tonight. Thank you so much. Our former principal, Dr. Rosella, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for coming. The band in front of you is our beginning band. These students started playing their instruments back in August. And I'm sure you remember those sounds. <laughs> Some of those sounds are still ringing around the band room from August. But they have come a real long way. We heard them back in October at our first performance concert. And they've done a really good job. And I think you really will be surprised at the progress that they've made from that point up until now. So we're going to begin our concert tonight with Jingle Bells.
not only is this the Christmas season, the Christmas songs we're playing, but this is also Hanukkah, the festival of lights. And in honor of uh, Hanukkah, we're going to play the greatest song. I have to stall for a couple minutes because the drums are changing instruments on every song. It takes them a couple of minutes of time to write the play. back in the back of the auditorium. 
So let's all stand so they can take photos. Please feel free to take as many photos as you like. I will set the road down so you'll be able to see each, each group of students as we go along. All right, first row, go ahead and sit down. First row. Okay, second row, sit down. And two is going to them. Okay. Now, isn't this a great looking group of students? Yeah. Uh, I really appreciate how well we did in following the dress codes and doing what we were supposed to do for our concert tonight. And we're going to close this dance portion with another celebration that's coming up real soon is Kwanzaa. And this piece is called Kwanzaa Celebration.
section combines two familiar pieces. The first piece used by the composer Gustav Holt is called In the Bleak Midwinter. And the second part is Angels We Have Heard on High. And this composer's taken and blended them together and made a partner song that is a really nice piece of music. I hope you'll enjoy Angels in the Bleak Midwinter.
selection is a 1940s big band piece called Baby Cold Outside. High School for being over and helping us get set up, and he's always here. Uh, it's a little hard to call him Mr. since he was sitting up here not too terrible many years ago, and I was yelling at him. But, uh, 18 years ago. 18? No, that can't be right. Uh, and Mr. Rudd did a great job over at Fernie Beach High School. You're so lucky to have that program for these students to go to. There's not many programs in our area of the state that comes close to that one. They had their jazz concert Monday night, it was wonderful. And Friday night, right here on the stage at 7 o'clock, we'll have their concert band. We hope they will all fit on the stage. There's about 80-something of them, so it's going to be a full house up here. But if you haven't heard them, they're better than a lot of college groups. So uh, please come out and and enjoy what they have to offer on Friday night. They're also playing in front of the school board up office on Saturday afternoon at 4. Yes, thank you. Uh, but please come out and support our bands. Without you, we won't be here long, and we want to be here. So This is too good for these students for something like this to go away because we don't have support. Thank goodness here we do have that support. Uh, going on right now, we're doing a fundraiser with this group, along with the high school students, uh, holiday sounds. Students can play out in front of Long Depot over by Harris Theater and in front of Amelia Liquors over by Publix. Uh, put up their case and take donations. We have a sign up on the in their canvas where they can sign up. There's music for them to download. It's not hard. We've had several students go out. They can play by themselves. They can play in small groups. Some students have made $165 in two hours. We had some kids make $250 in two hours. And it's the easiest fundraiser you'll ever do, but you don't have to take cookie dough somewhere and deliver it and hope it didn't fall out. Um, but, and gain 10 pounds because, yeah. Uh, but it's so easy for them to do. And it's great publicity for our band programs for people to see our students standing out and playing. 
they, they need to practice anyway. So a couple of hours standing out there and we won't have to do cookie dough. Because we haven't done a fundraiser now in a couple of years due to COVID. So we're kind of needing right, right now. Uh, we're operating on a shoestring. So all your help will be greatly appreciated. Also, uh, coming up next Tuesday, we will be doing here during the school day, Yuletide with the Arts, with our drama department with Ms. Thompson, who's here with us this evening. And next Tuesday evening at 6, right? They will be doing their Charlie Bell Christmas here at the auditorium. So please come out and support our drama department as well. A few weeks ago, we had our district auditions down in Jacksonville at Atlantic Coast for our Nassau Duval Honors Band. And we had one student from here this year selected to participate. Not only was she selected to participate, she's the first French horn in the area. So this is Miss Lily Ballard. Please stand up. numbers in that group this year but having the having the first chair player is pretty prestigious uh, we normally have a lot of students participate in that group this year eighth, eighth graders stand up all eighth graders yeah there's not many uh, this group is primarily seventh grade so the ones that aren't standing were in that beginning band you heard earlier last year so you can see what they can do in a short amount of time. Thank you, 8th graders. That's what you got coming. So for the Charlie Brown Christmas next Tuesday, we're going to play Christmas Time is Here.
and the big bands here on the island, but they've heard this style of music. Because what they play is not what they see. The music is just written very straight and blocky. They play it with a swing feel, and they have to figure out that swing feel. And it, it seems to come really easy. So this is Winter Wonderland.
you know, we're trying again to learn how to behave in an auditorium, how to be an audience after two years of the only thing we had was sports. So now we're learning, uh, we're learning again. So it's a learning curve. So it will get better and better as we keep going. So once again, thank you for being here this evening. We've got one more for you. This is called Christmas in England. And I hope everyone has a great Christmas and a happy new year.